Assalamualaikum and have a good day to Sir Shamsuri and Dr. Tanjaria. I'm Nushwada with the metric number 4061010449 and I'm the first presenter. Today I would like to present about uh, the introduction of interpersonal communication competency. Okay. Uh, first of all, empathy. Empathy is uh, one of the factors that related to uh, interpersonal communication competency. Next, um, interpersonal communication competency also uh, is fundamental in order to build good relationship at the workplace. This will lead to better environment, hence improve living standard in an appropriate manner. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and very good day to Sir Samsuri. I'm Nazria. I'm going to present about the importance of interpersonal communication competency. There are three importance of uh, communication competency. Firstly, is for in individual. So every individual can create their relationship among human. It's very important for each individual um, express their. Second important of uh, communication competency is uh, for individual development. So. Uh, everyone can create their own self competency through this um, communication, in, in interpersonal communication. Okay. The flow of information uh, through communication can increase the knowledge and value for each individual. Moving on to the next uh, important of communication competency is for um, organization where communication takes place at every stage of organi organization level of structure. So everyone can implement the good. Uh, communication competency among employee and uh, among employee and management. Last but not least, the importance of interpersonal communication competency for organization can lead to the problem solving in the organization. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Marda binti Maisa. My metric number B zero six one seven one zero four four two. And today I would like to continue this presentation with my part. I would like to present regarding to our survey. We have to conduct this survey on interpersonal communication competency. As required, we have to distribute this survey to 20 respondents among 3rd and 4th year UTEM students. Hello, Assalamualaikum and good morning. My name is Siti Zraida Azmi. So, my metric number is P061710152. So, I'm going to continue this presentation with demography analysis. As you know from the report that 20 respondents have joined in the question A, which is 70% of uh, respondent is female and 30% from uh, respondent is male. Mostly the student that joined this uh, question A is from 4th year student which is contribute 90% and 10% are from 3rd year student. The experience of association which is 80% from the respondent that contribute in association while 20% uh, does not contribute in any association. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and have a good day to everyone who watched this video presentation, especially Sir Samsuri as the lecturer of Organization Communication Subject. I really hope this video finds you well. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Yasmina Jabedotman. My metric number is B06 So today I'm going to deliver about the survey findings regarding to our group assignment entitled Interpersonal Communication Competencies. So first of all, uh, Interpersonal Communication Competencies is the ability to enact the message behavior that fulfill requirement based on the given situation. So basically, based on our questionnaire survey, we found out that 60 respondent equivalent to 80% of it has a moderate interpersonal communication and the rest of it, which is a 4 respondent equivalent to 20%, has a high interpersonal communication. So that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. And hi, I am Nur Amira Faina Bid Ahmad. So the next part our response is about suggestion for empowering interpersonal communication competences by student. First thing first is self-confidence. To be successful, it is crucial to demonstrate your self-confidence at any point of your career. Moreover, confidence can allow you to communicate with others as it means that you can communicate your point clearly and be listened to. Second is body language. Your body language will decide how your verbal contact is viewed. Factors to be recognized when you're engaging with others is eye contact, facial respiration, gestures, and body position. Third is collaboration. Being able to work together, especially in difficult circumstances, is a great selling point when you're applying for a job. 
students must also approach themselves with positive mindset and express their passion for her teamwork. That's all from me and will be continued by my team members. Thank you. Okay, thank you to Ms. Amira for those language suggestions. Right now, I, Muhammad Akmal Lumaslan, will continue with another two suggestions to empower interpersonal communication competencies by students. Okay, the fourth suggestion will be technology approach. The technology that we're referring to here is the internet technology. Since right now we are living in the era of the internet, we can gain a lot of an abundance of knowledge, whether it is past knowledge, facts, or even real time information just at the tip of our hand. Just as Robin Morgan said, information is power. When students utilizing this kind of technology very prof profoundly, it will help them in their work life in their conversation with other person or even during their presentation besides by having a lot of knowledge a person's self-esteem will also be higher since when they gain a lot of knowledge they will become uh, a lot of confident in order to talk to another person better so that the conversation between a person to a person will flow perfectly okay the internet also provide a lot of know-how in order to help any person to learn how to talk to another person better or how to talk to the public since in the internet there's a lot of communication style that they that a person can use in order to talk to another person better by learning this kind of uh, communication style a lot of communication style they will know which communication style will perfectly use in order to talk to a person, another person or even a group better before they go into the public okay. the last suggestions would be leadership qualities the leadership qualities is needed in every person in order to make sure that our communication skills and our other skills will be enhanced the quality of leadership that we take point here in order to improve uh, social conversation qualities of a person is three which is self-awareness empathy and also solution oriented when a person is self-awareness they will know what is their strength and their weakness which will help them to improve themselves better in order to talk to another person better and the next one will be empathy empathy means that we put ourselves in our other person situation which means that we understand other person better so that when we talk to another person we can know how does another person feel or how does another person will react when we converse with them so that we doesn't hurt their pride or even hurt their feeling the next one is solution oriented by having a solution oriented mind a person will able to do uh, a lot of solving a lot of problem which will help in their communication skills such as when their communication is some sort of broken they know how to manage to bridge it back to make sure that the flow of conversation will be uh, united back and flow perfectly okay i guess that's all from me thank you moving on to interpersonal communication competency development strategy for organizations so we choose a asia berhad so everyone know that a asia go through crisis which is a crash of flight QZ8501 in Indonesia. So Asia dealing with this crisis very well in terms of communication where the company keep updating and providing the latest information and update all the time to the family of the victim. So the founder of Asia, Mr. Tony Fernandez, showing his genuine and credibility during the press conference, answering all the questions and showing his number one priority at that time is for family members this showing that how well in Asia go through this crisis and give the stakeholder more convinced uh, to keep investing for Asia in future lastly the adaption of new communication channel also bring the competency development for an organization in Asia that adaptive to the new communication channel including in the digital communication platform website platform become a communication media that develop competency to asia and also give benefit to the passenger that's all from me thank you 
Conclusion, what we can conclude here, interpersonal communication competency provide various value that we as a student should implement in our daily basis for our bright future. In fact, it will help us to be more prepared. That's all for me. Thank you.